Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Mark is gonna be working pretty much all day today and I have errands to run so, I'm at, so I was like, I might as well make this into a vlog and bring you guys along with me. I have to do some makeup shopping. I'm gonna do a like makeup under $5 kind of thing. So I need to go shopping and find that makeup. I need to go to Dollar Tree. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to, well, I need to go do a couple of things. So I might as well just take, take you guys along with me and just, you know, spend the day with me. And we're starting off bright and early. I think it's about almost 7 a.m. I've been up since Mark left. Mark goes to work at six in the morning. So I've been up since then. And I already edited, uh, finished editing a video and I'm just gonna upload it. And hello, get the thumbnail and all that stuff ready. So again, just wanna bring you guys along. Good morning. Oh my God, you are so like lovey-dovey this morning. And here's the other one. Good morning to all of you. I don't know where my other cat is. I don't know where Luna is, but. Let's just go ahead and get the day started. All right, just got out of the shower. Just gonna brush my hair out and just let it, let it air dry. I'm not trying to do anything too fancy to my hair today. Um, I'm gonna hop on a little bit of makeup because just in case the weather stays nice as it is right now, I might take pictures later in the day. So I'm just gonna pop some makeup on and then we'll be on the way to run the errands. All right, we are all done. This is my OOTD right here. I'm just wearing a graphic tee. I Love these two men, love it. So I'm wearing this graphic tee, pretty basic with some jeans and just some basic sneakers. They're dirty, so who cares? I'm just running errands. And then this is what the makeup is today. Just simple base that I always do and then just a wing liner with some lashes, per usual, and a little coach bag that I got for Christmas. But yeah, we are ready to go. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get breakfast first before I do anything because I already know if I don't get any food or coffee before any of this, I am not going to be in the mood to do any of it. So I'm going to do that first. I think I'm going to go to ProFit Kitchen. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much a very healthy, like, fit kind of food place or cafe, I guess, because they have coffee, they have smoothies, they have very healthy, like, wraps, burgers, they have, like, vegan food, gluten-free stuff. They have a lot of good stuff, so it's, like, a better alternative for me to get than me just, like, going to McDonald's or something. It's definitely a lot better of an option, so I'm gonna do that and grab something, and then you guys can see the place. It's super cute, but it's, like, it's been one of my favorite places to eat at recently. For example, instead of me, like, getting off work late and me going to, like, I don't know, like Carl's Jr. or something, which I freaking love. I just make an order and pick it up at Perfect Kitchen because I spend about the same amount, but it's healthier and better for me, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and have some breakfast service. Walmart after breakfast, gonna get some dollar store makeup, but also wanted to grab a couple of these because these are bomb. I think I found some good products here at Walmart. They had a lot of LA colors, so I grabbed a lot of LA colors and some e.l.f. products. I think it's pretty good so far, so I think I'm good here. All right, just got done with Walmart, and I would say it was pretty successful. I'm trying to get makeup that's under $5. I got some that weren't, but it's okay because I really wanted to get stuff, but I'm super excited. I got, I even found some lashes that were under $5 and I got some gloss and I just really wanted to grab two more shades of these cream blushes because I already have one. It's the, in the shade Bellini and I love it. So I wanted to get two more, a more pinky shade and a more reddish shade. But I'm super excited about these. This has been my favorite freaking formula for cream blushes. It's like a semi matte. So I'm super excited about that, but now I think I'm going to get my car wash because I actually haven't washed my car in a month, like months. It's pretty embarrassing and I'm so lazy when it comes to that, but I'm going to go do that right now before I do anything. Even though it's windy, it's still, you know, worth to get it washed because it's pretty bad. So we're going to do that. I was thinking about stopping at the Goodwill, but I might not. I don't know because I still have to go all the way up the hill. It's a little bit of a drive because I'm trying to go to the, to the Dollar General over there because I want to try Believe Beauty and they only have it at Dollar General. So I want to go try that as well. And they have a lot of makeup under $5 with that brand. All right, I'm here at Dollar General. I came to the one that's furthest from my house because the other one was like old and crusty, so let's see what they got. 
Okay, I hope you guys can hear me and see me okay. Um, I'm kind of filming in my living room now. I just got home, by the way, and I have my AC and my fan on, so I hope you guys can hear me. But I just got home. I also went ahead and went to Ross, and I got a lot of cute shit in there, but of course, it's always so fucking busy. I can never vlog in there. And then I also went to Goodwill, but I didn't find anything. I found a few cute dresses, but they were small. And I don't wear small dresses anymore. They don't fit me, so. And I think, oh, and I also went to Smart and Final to get the groceries. I just got a bunch of fruits. And stuff to make dinner tonight so i would say that i had a pretty good shopping day today and i'm really excited because i mean i went to the dollar store the majority so i didn't buy anything too crazy but i'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul of the things that i bought first thing i'm gonna show you guys is from dollar general look at this really cute little art piece i love it as i've mentioned um a lot in all my videos like vlogs and like my regular videos that i'm trying to go for more like plants around the home a little bit more earthy but modern kind of thing i thought this would be so cute for my living room because it's like pictures of plants and it's in white and i thought this was adorable look at it and it was only 15 dollars, and it was the last one only 15 bucks like are you kidding me last one i love it i thought it was so cute so i had to buy it i wasn't gonna buy it but then i was like am i ever gonna find something like this again probably not so I just bought it. Kind of showed you guys what I got at Dollar General, but not really. But I spent fifty dollars in Dollar General, so. But I got a lot. I got a lot of the Believe Beauty line. They had an end cap that was all Believe Beauty, and I was super excited because I heard great things about this line. Okay, now the AC is turning off, so now you should be able to hear me, and I should stop screaming. But I found a lot of good stuff from the line, so I did purchased the foundation so this is the believe beauty skin finish foundation it's a medium to full coverage foundation i got it in the shade nude i hope that this fits me okay because i don't want to go all the way back to get another shade but i heard great things about this foundation and i also got the concealer as well this is their this is their your covered liquid concealer this one i got it in the shade biscuit i hope i got a good shade too also got their powder this one is their matte blur loose setting powder it's in the shade just like a translucent one so i thought this might be a good one i'm super excited for that i also ended up getting their beauty sponge because i thought the color was really cute and you guys already know my obsession with beauty sponges and if it's affordable i'm gonna get it everything i bought was under five dollars by the way um except for obviously the painting but dollar general has the goods and also got one of their little, I think it's like a little eyeshadow pot. And this is the shade I got it in. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this. They had other shades, but this one was the one that attracted me the most. So I'm super excited to use this one. Also got their highlighting little palette. I heard great things about this one. I'm really excited about this shade right here. But I think you can also use these as like eyeshadows. So I got this one. And lastly, from Dollar General, I got their Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray, obviously from Believe Beauty, as you guys can see. I hope you guys can see really well. This is just a pretty much basic setting spray that's supposed to give you like a hydrating look, but also just like set your makeup in for long-lasting wear. So that's pretty much what I got from Believe Beauty. So like I said before, I'm trying to do a makeup under $5 video, so make sure you guys watch out for that because I am super excited because I have a lot of products already, and I'm just excited to film that video. So that'll be up soon. Oh, there's another thing in here. I forgot. I also got their Pretty and Primed Primer. This is our hydrating primer. I don't think it does anything else besides give you hydration. So I need to find something that'll fill in my pores because that's what I really look for. And like, because I use two primers. So that's what I look for as well. So I look for like a hydrating one or a like tacky one that'll keep my makeup in place. And then also a pore filling one. But this is the one that they have. They actually had another one. I think it was like an illuminating one. But I didn't buy that one, obviously, because I'm not into the glow. So the hydrating one looks really good. So I'm super excited about this one. Walmart was very successful as well. They have been doing a lot better with keeping their things stocked. I think because they, like, redid the whole Walmart in my town that everything just looks better now. But like I showed in the car, I got two more shades of the Profusion Soft Matte Blushes. These are so good. I also showed these lashes. These were under $5. So this will be part of the video. These are really pretty. They're from Kiss. It's like the your lash but better kind of thing. And then I'm pretty sure I already showed this too, but I got two shades of the Cookies and Dreams lip glosses from e.l.f. I've been wanting to try these, especially the black one. I've heard great things about these, so I'm excited to use the blue one as well. But the black one is what I'm really excited for. And I also grabbed, I haven't used this in a while, but I remember really liking this. It's the Bikini Zone Anti-Bump Shave Gel. I used to really like this for my bikini area, and I have noticed I've been getting ingrown hairs there now that I haven't been using this in a while, so I wanted to stop. So this is under $5 as well. I think it is $5, so this is a really good one, so I can't wait to try it again. The nice thing that Wet n Wild had finishing powders, so this is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. This one I got in the shade... 
I think light medium. I hope it's not too dark. This is gonna be under the uh, under five as well because I think it was like four dollars and change. So I'm gonna add that. And like I mentioned earlier as well, I got some things from LA Colors for the video, but also because I wanted to try LA Colors because I heard they have up their quality and stuff. If you hear a bag moving, it's Luna. She's trying to get in the plastic bag. But I also ended up getting their loose setting powder. This one's in the shade light. So, you know, I'm always down to try a new loose powder. So that's what I got from that line. I also got their mascara. They had a few of them. I got this one because this one looked more my speed and it's a 2B mascara. I love 2B mascara. So got that one. Also got their precise eyeliner and this clear lip gloss because it looked really pretty. And I also got this eyeshadow palette from them. This looks really, really pretty and fun for summertime. So I thought the colors were really nice. There's a good combination of mattes and shimmers in here. So I can't wait to try that in combination with the Believe Beauty little pot. Oh, I'm so excited for it. Like I'm really excited for the video and I hope I got everything because I just went crazy. And lastly, I went to Ross and I just went in there to look and see what I can find. Last time I went to Ross, I was gonna vlog it but I ended up not putting it up is um, I found a lot of cute like clothes at Ross and I got maybe like, actually I only got like two or three things last time I went to Ross so it wasn't that big a deal but the shoes were stocked this time and I'm so excited for this pair right here and it's my size size seven and it was $30. Look at these shoes. Aren't they so cute? I love these. They are beautiful. I've been looking for wedges like this and like in this like color range for so long and I couldn't freaking find them and I found them at Ross. They are so cute and trendy because of the color because of the braid they are beautiful you guys like i am just so like in shock that they were at ross and they just put them out so these are so cute i cannot wait to wear these and this other pair they had at the end cap you know and ross they have like end caps that put like the new shoes in there oh my god this pair it's a seven and a half i'm a seven so i'm hoping I, I didn't try them on but i'm hoping that they will fit me because they are so cute these were 20 dollars, and they are these shoes right here aren't they so cute it's like this really like pretty bubblegum pink and with the braids of course trendy the square toe it's not too square but it's pretty square but they're like little i guess sandals if you want to call them but they are so cute look at them they look like they're gonna be a little big but i wanted them and i'm just like fuck it i'm just gonna buy it because they're only 20 bucks and they're so cute. I'm so glad I snagged these shoes up. Like, oh my God, they're so cute. Then lastly, I just picked up another little pan because I needed a new one because my, long story short, it'll work no more. So <laughs> I needed a new one to like fry eggs in. So this is the one that I got. Um, it's kind of hit and miss when I buy pans from Ross, but I really needed one. So I just bought this one and this one was only $10. So whatever, I just bought it. And then I just got two little tops just to work out in because the tops that I got, they're not, that cute nor do they fit me that well because i got them in a size small like three years ago i got them at target on clearance and i don't like them so and then one of them is broken so anyways um this is one of the shirts right here this is really pretty like loose fitting blue top i went to the size larges and mediums mostly larges because i like them to be baggy i don't like to have fitted workout clothes so this is what i got and this one got in size large but this one was only 8.99 so i thought this one was cute and then I got this one. I thought this one was really cute. This one, I got it in a size medium and was only $6.99. Just this little navy blue little top. I thought it was cute, right? Just to like work out in with a little, you know, black biker shorts or something. So I was like, why not? Might as well get some cute little workout clothes. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of motivation is when you go out and buy a cute little set, or buy a cute little workout gear and just feel really cute in your workout outfit. That's what I did. And now I feel like working out because I got cute outfits now. So that was pretty much everything I got besides my groceries. I'll go ahead and show you guys my groceries right now. I'll go ahead and show you guys my groceries in a little bit. I just got a bunch of fruits and we are actually gonna be doing HelloFresh again because I am starting to have, go into a rut with what the fuck to cook. Like I don't really know what to cook anymore. So that's why I was like, you know what, babe? He really liked HelloFresh. So I'm really happy that he agreed to do HelloFresh again. And hopefully we get some ideas. Hopefully I get inspired because I've been in such a rut, especially with being pre-diabetic pre and stuff. I feel like I've been cooking the same things every day. So it's just been really irritating, but really excited to get our box. We're actually getting it tomorrow. So I'm super excited about that. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what we got and I need to put all this stuff away. Oh my God, I can't stop fucking staring at these shoes. I cannot stop staring at these shoes. I think I'm gonna go on like Instagram and just like show you guys the shoes because this is so fucking cute. But anyways, let's move on with our day and Looney. I'm pretty sure that bag is trash, but it's yours now, so. Whenever you guys hear bags, this is this is what I'm seeing. Just that nonsense. 
I don't know what she does. She like scratches it. She bites it. She like tries to go in it, but she tries to rip it at the same time. Hello? So I'm not really sure what she's doing, but this is also my view right here. The cats are always around me. I am never alone. Yoshilu. So cute. Aww. All right, just a quick little haul of the things that I bought. So I'm gonna make enchiladas for dinner tonight. Usually we get the hot one, but Smart and Final only had the medium or the mild. So I ended up just getting the medium. It'll do, but this is the sauce that we use. I got the tortillas for it. Got the crema, I love this crema, it's my favorite one. I also got tomato sauce to make rice. And just some things for lunch. I just got this little pack of baby carrots because I like carrots. Also got these. I've really been liking these just for like a quick snack at work. They have a lot of protein and they taste really good. So this one is salmon and I have light tuna. Also got all my veggies, I mean all my fruits. I got some mangoes in here, red seed, this grapes. I like the green ones, but Mark likes the red ones. So I just, whatever, I don't really care as long as they're good. Also got this watermelon. I don't know if this is good. I don't know how to tell the difference in a watermelon. So I hope this one's good. I am gonna cut this up in a little bit. Also got some avocados, some plums and bananas, and I got this pear. I don't know what kind of pear it is, but sometimes Martin Vinyl has weird looking like, oh God, fruits. So I'm just curious on how it tastes. It feels really hard, so maybe it's not ready yet. So I'm gonna let it sit in my little veggie bowl and see when it's ready. Also got some bananas. I mean, what the fuck am I, what? what? Also got some eggs, of course, for breakfast. We all love eggs. And just a case of Diet Coke, if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic, you are allowed to have diet soda. Of course, still in moderation. I only have one a day if I need to. If not, then I'm done. Don't need it. But, you know, sometimes I need a little bit of something. So I got Diet Coke and yeah, that's pretty much my little haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away and put all of that away and then we'll see what else we'll do afterwards. But I'm probably gonna uh, cut up this watermelon because I'm hungry. Okay, I've, again, I've never cut a watermelon by myself. Usually my mother is the one who <laughs> cuts them for me, but she don't live with me. So I do it myself but I'm assuming you cut it in half first. Please don't judge me, but I'm assuming you cut it. Oh, Jesus, it's so hard. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, it looks like nasty. It look, doesn't look good. <laughs> Whatever, and then I think you just do this and then just, I think. I don't know, I've seen people cut it like this, so. I'm just gonna cut it like this because that's what I've seen on TikTok is people cutting it like this. So if this is wrong, I'm sorry, but I think this is right. I think it's getting there. Okay, I got one half. So now I assume I just now cut them however I want. So probably, is this supposed to be seedless by the way? I'm pretty sure I picked the seedless one. Unless there's no such thing and they just played me, then I just got played, but whatever. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who was little that they would freak out when they would eat a seed and people would tell them that you're gonna grow a freaking watermelon in your stomach now that you ate the seed and I'll be like, what are you talking about? You know? And now it's just like, that sounds, actually kind of cool to grow a watermelon you know i don't know what the fuck i'm saying okay so this is my watermelon i added some tahini in it i don't know if i'm gonna eat all of it i mean i probably will to be honest because i freaking love watermelon so i'm just gonna take a bite and see hopefully i picked a good watermelon and it looks very bland but let's just try it that one had a lot of tahini <laughs> It's not bad. It's actually very, 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 very lightly sweet, but the tahini helps a lot. Okay, so I have about an hour before I have to go out and start taking pictures, but really quickly, I'm just gonna show you guys um, me packaging some orders. I have an Instagram page where I sell my clothing, and I used to have an, a clothing boutique years ago, like two years ago, and I still have a lot of clothes from it, so I do sell a lot of that stuff still as well. And everything's one, three, and five dollars. Everything will be linked down below if you guys want to check it out. But I'm gonna go ahead and package an order. This is actually from my aunt, 
and she ordered four items. So let's go ahead and package it up. This one is already still in its package. It's a green jumpsuit. I'll go ahead and put a picture of it. This one was five dollars. She got it in a small. So I'm just gonna leave it in its packaging already and just throw it in there. Then she also got the seamless bodysuit. This one's in white, this one's in the small medium. And if it doesn't come with a plastic thing anymore, I bought some off Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and package it up nicely in this. I also got the plus size romper. I do have plus size as well, I forgot to mention that. But this one is a romper, this one's in the 3X. I love the color of this one, so she also got that one. And then lastly, she got another plus size top. This one's also in a 3X. It looks like this. It's just a really pretty mustard top with a bell sleeve on it. Nice and flowy, super cute. And all of these items were only $5 each, by the way. And every purchase does come with a free gift, so I'm gonna to toss in these earrings. Um, the earrings on there are also a dollar, but I'm gonna go ahead and toss these in for free. I'm just gonna put it in here. Um, she asked me to send it with my mom because my mom's going over there um, in a few weeks, but still, I just want everything to be packaged nicely. I'm just gonna write her name on here, and this order is all done. All right, I just finished all of my content for the day. Usually, I am done around six o'clock, maybe 5.30 or six, because I like to take pictures outside around that time, because of, you know, golden hour, and because I don't like going outside when it's too hot, and yeah, it's just about lighting. So I already, already took my lashes off because they were bugging me, but there's like so much glue left. <laughs> in my lashes so I'm gonna wipe my makeup off before I go start dinner because we are starving but I need to take this off already like it's already breaking apart I feel like I didn't powder enough on my face today because my face never does that with my makeup so that's weird but let's go ahead and take it off I'm just gonna show you guys what I use now I usually use the one size makeup remover spray or the makeup revolution one but I can't find the makeup revolution one anymore and I just ordered the one size one from the Sephora VIB cell, so I'm waiting for that to come in. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use right now. So I already rinsed off um, my little cleansing cloud from e.l.f. I love these, and I've been using the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This is what it looks like. I literally haven't used all of it, but I've used a good amount of it, and I literally just stick the cloud in here and just go in and take the makeup off. I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, but that's just how I've been doing it and it's just been working as you can see literally melting my makeup off i do try to use both sides so this is the side that had the balm on it pretty disgusting so i'm going to use the other side and just wipe away any excess makeup like in the crevices that might still be lingering but this feels so much better to take my makeup off also, I'm not gross. I do wash it after I use it. That way it's ready for the next day. To remove the eye makeup, now I'm gonna use Neutrogena eye makeup remover. And now this little thing right here, per usual, you guys already know this is my favorite. Take off my eye makeup, so. And you should be able to take the lash glue right off too. All right, so this is my face now without the makeup. So I didn't wash my face yet. I'm just gonna wash it in the shower, but I'm gonna do it after I eat. I'm just too lazy to wash my face right now and I don't want to double wash my face. I feel like that's a lot. So I'm just going to let my skin breathe for a second. I think it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the dinner started. I also got another order from my Closet by Lovely page. So I do have to package that as well. But I'm going to get dinner started first because that's part of the vlog. And I already packaged an order. So I don't know if the other order is going to be boring for you guys. So what the fuck is that? Let's go make enchiladas. All right, we just finished dinner about a half an hour ago and I just got out of the shower, washed my face. I, I just did a body shower, which is usually what I do. I like wash my hair during the day and at night I just do a body shower just to rinse off any sweat and stuff. I have to burp. Just a quick little night routine I wanna show you guys. I'm just gonna go with some night cream. This is the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream. I've actually haven't used this. So I don't want something too sticky and oily and crazy. That's why I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of a night cream. And also some eye cream. This one is from Alginist. Alginist? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. It's their Triple Algae Eye Renewal Balm. And then I'm just going with the Lottie London little lip mask right here. This night cream feels like... It just feels like a basic moisturizer. It has kind of a strong scent, so I don't know how I feel about that. But we'll just go with the flow. It feels really nice, though. And the night cream... This is a really nice cream. I love this eye cream. It kind of feels funny after you apply it, like you feel like your eyes are burning a little bit, but I think it's supposed to feel that way. I already did a mask yesterday, which is why I'm not doing another mask right now. I can apply a little bit. 
I don't want it too oily, but I just want a little bit of something. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I had a lot of fun bringing you guys along. Um, hopefully I can get better and better at vlogging so you guys can actually join me through the whole ride. Now I'm just going to go hang out with Mark, probably watch a movie, probably go get pregnant. I don't know. We'll see what we do. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys have any more suggestions, make sure to leave them down below. I love you guys and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.